The Shulchan Aruch is very clear that we're obliged to daven with a minion. Not only to daven with a minion, but to daven in the Beit HaKnesset. Simon Sari, Halacha Tet. Yishtadel Adam Litpalel Beveit HaKnesset Im HaTzibur. A person should try always to daven in shul and with the tzibur, with the quorum, with the minion. Vim hu anus sheino yechol avol And if he is under duress, he can't go to the Beit HaKnesset, he's chas v'sholom, he's sick, bedridden, and he can't come to the Beit HaKnesset, yechave litpalel b'sha'ah, sh'atzibur mitpalelin. Then he should be careful to uh, to daven at the same time that they daven in the Beta Knesset. So there's almost a mystical need to daven with other people, according to the Shulchan Aruch, and that davening alone is not the acceptable practice. On this, the Mishnah has a few things to say. Firstly. He says, But somehow we understand that if a person davens as an individual, he's judged, and his davening is judged in terms of his individual achievement and capacity. But if he davens with a quorum, with the community, then he is judged differently. And we understand that HaKadosh Baruch Hu never turns away the prayer of the Tzibur. And if, even if the Tzibur that you're doubting with has sinners in it, a person should not deny the obligation to daven with the community. Because again, in some way, the community community of daveners, the community of people who are standing together and approaching God, supersedes the individual doing the same thing. And it works in the other way as well. Even if the individual that you're going to daven with, or some of the individuals that you're going to daven with, are well known uh, for their uh, disrespect and their lack of of interest in mitzvot, and they may even be sinners, as the Shulchan as the Bible <coughs> says. Nevertheless, he should not deny his obligation to daven with the uh, with the tzibur, with the community. <coughs> and he says also another halacha: if there are two batei knesset that you might daven in. And uh, one of the two has a larger community of people davening. You should daven there. Davka in that shul. Katvu acharonim, and the recent deciders have written, he says, if the, uh, uh, if the larger shul has objective problems in it, and it's, uh, it's difficult to hear or to understand where the Sibur is up to, then, uh, and he doesn't hear the tefillah properly, he doesn't hear Kriyat Torah properly, then it's probably better to daven at home with a limited minyan of 10, right? And, uh, and that way, uh, the tefillah is more uh, respectable. Today, uh, this halacha has come under some attack. You know, people... Uh, there used to be a time, especially in uh, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, America, when big shuls were the, the norm. Everybody wanted to daven in a big, well-appointed, fancy uh, uh, shul. But then something happened, and people uh, started thinking that perhaps smaller shuls, where the people were more intensely uh, connected to what was going on, was the better option. It's hard to tell from the Mishtabura, but it seems to me that a person should try to daven in the place where his davening is most successful. 
where he's most able to join in with the tzibur on the one hand, and on the other hand, to accomplish the particular obligations that he has. To say the tefillah, that is to say Shemona Esrei, with seriousness, and to be able to hear both Kriyat Torah and the Shaliach Tzibur, which is an obligation, both of which are obligations, that devolve from tefillah B'Tzibur.